Hey, if you're considering some racing seats for your old ride, but you want to stay on a really tight budget, stay tuned because I'm going to show you the racing seats I've had in my old C10 for the past seven years. And when I installed them, I was on a very tight budget, and I've got two different types of seats. And I'm going to talk about them right now and give you my review so you can decide, you know, maybe you might be interested in one or the other. Hey, how goes it, guys? Long time no see, huh? Did you think I had died? Man, yeah. I felt like I was going to. I've had a cold worse than I think I've ever had the past two weeks. Well, anyway, I'm better now. But it has been a while. In fact, it's been so long, seasons have changed. Look at that. And so as you can see, it is super green out here now. Look at all this on the old suit tents are like, uh, pollen, wheat, green buds, nasty. But don't get me wrong, I'm super excited that spring is finally here. We're gonna do some cool stuff. But like I said in the intro, today I'm going to show you the racing seats that I've had in my old C10 for the past seven years or so. Then when I got them, I was on a very tight budget. I was a young college student and uh, I wanted to get rid of the old bench seat in it and save a little weight. But I've actually got two different types of seats in the truck, but both of them are very inexpensive. One on the driver's side was actually given to me by a friend and it's pretty old like I said I've had it for around seven years but it sat in his garage for a, a pretty good while before that and I don't know how long he had it in his car so it's pretty old but it's in still really good shape so for an inexpensive seat it has kept its quality fairly well and when I got it it was red and I think that's the only color it actually comes in as you can see now it's blue well that's because I painted it with some upholstery spray paint for the passenger side it's a very inexpensive you can get it just the seat without the cushion very inexpensively I don't remember the exact price I'll link it in the description so again the seats that I have are both of them are very inexpensive um, like I said I got the driver's side here uh, for free actually um, it was uh, you know I got it second hand of course um, it was red when I got it I actually believe that's the only color it comes in um, I'll link it down in the description I don't even remember the name of it right off the top of my head but uh, as you can see I actually just spray painted it uh, blue I mean it has faded some you can see like where I've been sitting you see the red coming through but I mean, it's been here for uh, probably six, seven years. So, I mean, it still looks fairly good. Uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to find the paint that I used and link it in the description as well. This seat, I think it costs about a hundred bucks. Um, it's a little more adjustable than the other one that I'm about to show you. Uh, you can adjust the back, you know, it goes up and down um, and it does slide. You slide it forward so it's a little more advanced than the passenger side but it is a little more expensive and I mean honestly it's not extremely comfortable uh, but let's go look at the other side okay so this is the passenger side uh, now if you're looking for the absolute most um, cost-effective you know method to get a really light seats in your car or truck this is the way to go these things i don't remember the exact price but i think they're only like i'm thinking they're less than 60 bucks um I'll, like i said i'll i'll uh i'll link them in the description 
but that comes with, and then of course you can get uh, you know, mounting hardware for it. Now these are fixed; you can't adjust them. You know, and of course the back is fixed, so that's you know that's one less functionality that they have than the other one over there. But you know, like I said, these are very inexpensive. They're light, and they're actually fairly comfortable. Now they come in this plastic. You can get them in different colors, um, but you can get a seat cover or a seat cushion for it, and I actually have it here. I just I haven't had it all this time, but I, I ordered it recently because this is pretty hard. Uh, you know, it has a place, of course, for a uh, five-point harness. Now, I actually got the wrong uh, cover. You'll see in a minute. See, this one has the three holes up there and I was actually thinking that it only had the one so I got the, the wrong uh, cushion but it'll still work but uh, yeah let's go ahead and install the cover and then I'll show you what it looks like so there's the cover and cushion uh, it's not real padded so I'm not sure how comfortable it's going to be but I'm sure it'll be a little better than this plain, you know, pure plastic. But uh, let's slip it on there and see what it looks like. But real quickly, like I said, it's got the uh, one hole up there. I should have got the one that's got the three. Uh, I'll link both of them in the description so that you can decide, you know, depending on which seat you get. But uh, as far as I know, this will still work. Right, so there it is. Uh, and just slipped it over the seat. As you see, it's it looks pretty good and it, it feels pretty good. And the seat is really comfortable. Uh, it's not got tons of padding, but it's really supportive. And now I haven't secured it yet. Um, so if you flip it over, you can see this little button here with these uh, screws and then the uh, the other end of the button. You have to. I'm going to have to drill a hole up under here so that you can snap it. See this button here? That way you can just pull it down and snap it after you put the other end on. Now I'm going to have trouble getting it on the other side because I have that middle seat in here. It's just a middle uh, seat from a modern truck. So if I'm going to button it over there, I'll probably have to take the seat out. So remember that, um, you get the cushion and the seat at the same time, you might want to secure the cushion before you install it inside the vehicle. Alright guys, so I think that's about all I've got for you. I know it was short, but what else can I really say about it? Um, you know, like I said, if you're on a budget, or you just don't want to spend a lot of money on your seats, either one is fine. Let me know what type of seats you have in your old ride in the comments. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, if you haven't been watching, I have done a few other cosmetic uh, upgrades on the C10 recently. I'll put a link up in the card here to a playlist where I review all kinds of uh, some of the parts and accessories I have for the truck. You, know, you might be interested in that if you enjoyed this one. And if you did enjoy this one, um, you can support the channel by hitting that like button and if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button oh and i have a very huge announcement coming about the channel in very soon uh, so keep an eye out for that and uh, i'll see you next time